want more Titanic. Even though the RMS Titanic slipped beneath the icy surface of the Atlantic more than 100 years ago, people continue to be fascinated by it. Whether it be first-person accounts of what happened on board or historical analyses of the captain's decisions that fateful night, there is plenty to dig into if you are someone who is interested in all things Titanic. If you are someone you know just can't get enough of the unsinkable ship, here are our staff's picks of what to read, watch, and buy next. A Night to Remember, The Sinking of the Titanic, the one New York Times best-selling book by Walter Lord. Based on interviews with 63 survivors, Lord's moment-by-moment -moment account is among the finest books written about one of the 20th century's bleakest nights. A popular gift volume featuring dozens of meticulously accurate, full-color paintings including a fold-out illustration of the whole Titanic Titanic, an illustrated history offers a wealth of information about the unsinkable cruise ship and its fatal voyage. The History Channel's documentary Titanic, the complete story is ideal for anyone who really wants all of the details from that fateful night in a format they can watch and re-watch anytime. For younger readers, Voyage on the Great Titanic, The Diary of Margaret and Brady are Titanic 1912 in the popular Dear America series offers a unique view of life on board the ship from the perspective of a young girl. For the collector, miniature lover, and design enthusiast, there are rare photographic prints, scale models, and even Titanic trivia available. Our staff has written lots on the subject, too, so stick around. China Plates and Cups Each class on the Titanic had a different set of china, and many of the dishes are still intact at the bottom of the ocean. Reproductions of Titanic dishes are a hot commodity for collectors. When some genuine recovered plates and teacups went up for auction with some other items in 2012, First Edition Essays by Francis Bacon First Edition Essays by Francis Bacon Jewelry Owned by First Class Passengers Jewelry Owned by First Class Passengers A Mary Joseph Blondel Painting a Mary Joseph Blondel painting by Steinway Grand Pianos. Five Steinway Grand Pianos. A handwritten manuscript by Joseph Conrad. A handwritten manuscript by Joseph Conrad. Four cases of opium. 1912 Renault Type CB Cube de Ville. A jewel encrusted edition of the Roubaix Wallace Hartley's Violin. Wallace Hartley's Violin. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then take care bye